Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start the video. So this video is about week 4 programming assignment solution for programming data structure algorithms using Python course. So here we have two programs. Only two programs. Generally uh, in previous week uh, we have three or four programs. Here only two, two programs only. So for the first uh, code we use rain average function and for second code we use list type function so guys you can uh, type along with me first I am going to show you the first question code that is rain average function so let's type it so you can follow me uh, parallelly so I am zooming this for you so type along with me so that you will not get any errors def I have already said it is rain average function so rain average rain average of guys this is not 1 it is L L variable rain average of L A comma B comma C equals empty dictionary symbols and close for I comma J in L within that indentation. I am giving some space, line space to make you understand it. So, if I not in A, here not in means it's a membership operator. So, if A of I comma B of I equals j comma 1 j comma 1 and then uh, along with the if if condition right else condition also else a of i comma b of i is equals a of i plus j comma b of i plus 1 and next along with the for loop the previous along with the third line for loop again we write another for loop for i comma j in b dot items so within the so i have forgot to return here b b dot items so within the indentation of for loop we should write c of i equals float of a of i divided by j next along with the for loop i mean without uh, outside the for loop parallelly we should write l2 equals i comma j for I comma J in C dot items close L2 dot on the next line L2 dot sort of here we use the sort function sort of key is equals lambda 
स्पेस ये इज टू आई मीन ये कॉलम ये ऑफ जीरो ये ऑफ जीरो क्लोज एंड नेक्स्ट रिटर्न एल टू दैट्स इट दिस इज द कोड सो द कोड इज दिस इज दिस वन इज द कोड so guys uh, be careful with the indentation the if else should be in same line and the for loop should be in the same line so hope you have noted this down so i am zooming back so let's see what happens first i am showing only the first question code so if you see this two test cases are passed out of six two test cases are passed the remaining four test cases belongs to a flatten function that means uh, second question code so for first question only two case, test cases are given and those two are passed successfully so the first question code is correct i will show you the second question code now so for second question uh, flatten function so give some space for the first uh, second program so here we will get a clear view so now i will type the second question code please write along with me i am going to zoom this again for you so this is the second question code uh, click some enter click the enter button so that you can get the fresh view so now i will type the second question code def list type of l colon within the def you should write return return type of l sorry here type of 1 type of 1 is equals is equals type of this is empty tuple i mean empty list so parallelly along with the def block not within it is parallel to the def block l3 is equals empty list next again write def function def flatten of l4 colon within the def block for i in l4 for i in l4 if list type of i flatten of i flatten of i else so move this along to so parallel to if block else l3 dot append l3 dot append of i so parallel to the for block for loop return l3 so friends this is the code note it down carefully i am again zooming this for clear view so this is the code so if should be parallel to else and return should be parallel to for loop and this is the code hope you have noted it down i am zooming back to uh, show you the remaining execution so i am clicking compile and run button so if you see this public test case 
cases 6 by 6 passed. So remaining test cases are also passed, 4 test cases. And first two is already passed, we know that. So let's click on submit button to check for private test cases. So here also if you see this, every private test case is also passed. Total there are 10 test cases and everything is passed. So our solution is 100% correct. So friends, these are the coding solutions for week 4 assignment. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. So for further more videos, keep supporting our channel. If you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. So until then, keep supporting us. Goodbye. Thank you.